Hey world, how's it going? VC family, friends, everyone. <clears throat> Gotta come on and say hello right quick and um, do an update. Um, first thing I wanna do is um, I wanna thank Anthony Fantano of The Needle Drop. Anthony, thank you so much um, for reviewing my album. That was completely unexpected. I appreciate your kind words. I also appreciate your honest words. You honestly reflect what I've said and what I feel about my own this record, you know, which was when I made this in 2004, it was a bid to try and um, get back in the game or take myself seriously or see if I can really do it. And I thought I needed to sing. Some people like my voice, you know, I just, I don't have a lot of um, control over it because I don't practice. It's, not, it's, it's funny, you know, but um, of the uh, collaborations that I'm, um, working on one of them specifically was for my voice <laughs> isn't that something but thank you Anthony I do have a few of these left folks I'll put the uh, link down below but they're just about gone they'll be gone shortly um, I can tell that once my um, art residency starts and I get my um, programs going that these will be gone thank you Anthony thank you I got some uh, BC LT the love train stopped by my house real nice yesterday and I just want to say again in general that I really like that aspect of the vinyl community how I see people giving to each other all over all kinds of stuff some really amazing stuff that people give to each other um, you know I mean jealousy sometimes and that's good you know what I'm saying that we share the wealth everyone everyone deserves to <laughs> own wonderful cool records and stuff so yesterday I got a really nice package too actually and uh, the first one I'll say is from Vi Memphis Vinyl Jim and the Misses they saw me um, talking about Sakamoto recently and asked me if I needed or wanted a cassette of Neo Geo I have several copies of this on vinyl and CD now I have one on on cassette this is a record that you'll come across for a dollar a lot of times this is not Sakamoto at his best matter of fact I think this was an attempt to, another attempt to capitalize on a particular American market that I think failed I think there's some fantastic songs on here um, Bootsy is on here Iggy Pop is on here to great effect but overall he's made better albums but thank you so much. Really appreciate this Memphis Vinyl Gym and the Misses. Thank you so much. Um, I also unexpectedly received from um, Mark uh, Ditch the latest Glass Orchid Aftermaths. I went ahead and, and paid for them. I, I wasn't expecting them. But I want to give it to Mark that these are uh, go Mark. These are really, you really um, raising your your bar these are really well done and the David and Anthony um, interview you know the uh, local artist that you found chuck full of interesting uh, information very interesting now this is that series really validates for me I mean the whole thing is valid but you know what I'm saying here you have uncovered information and this is a, the exclusive source for it glass organ aftermath that's the power of print you know it's the power of um, any endeavors you really never know what it is that you're going to end up doing and what it will mean so good on you mark good on you these are awesome I um, there's a fellow by the name of um, let me get this together now Douglas Miles Clark. I don't know if Douglas makes videos, but I have started to I interact with him among the vinyl community on Facebook. And a few days ago, um, it was a uh, Sakamoto Day. Just for some reason, um, Sakamoto was being shown. I joined in. Doug joined in, and he uh, showed this uh, program. To he said he saw Sakamoto on his Neo Geo tour and showed the program, which I thought was awesome. Then he, had, then he said he'd send it to me, and he did. 
Douglas, thank you so much. This is amazing. These are the kinds of things that are very, very valuable. Um, I'm a big collector of what Yellow Magic Orchestra and Sakamoto and the other um, members of the band. I was saying that I have over a hundred uh, items in my Sakamoto collection alone, which I do, uh, between the vinyl and the CDs and cassettes. Yeah, this is a ni nice addition. I have some books too, actually. I love Sakamoto's um, um, piano aesthetic. And um, I don't know, there's something about the way he does things. It has a quality that I love. And this is a real cool, a real nice um, program. Even in the discography, I discovered that <clears throat> Sakamoto released two singles that I've never seen. I have the songs, but I've never seen the, the singles can, as they're configured in here. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, thank you so much, Douglas. He also sent me his own mu his music, his original music that he has on CD. Douglas Miles Clark, A M M. And I can relate to you, Doug, if you watch this. You know, he did, he wrote all this, recorded most of the music himself, and then 45 RPM. This stuff is good, it's not perfect. Just like, um, just like um, Anthony Fantana was kind to imply as opposed to say the shortcomings of my record because there are some you know what I'm saying you know this is this is not ready for top 20 or American Idol or whatever but it's good like you said the melodies you'll be surprised at how melodic this album is I can help write some good songs but uh, it's I just you know I can't I can't make it just turn on and off I hear the same um, thing going on with you Douglas that you are a good songwriter. There's a variety to what you do. The production on these is pretty good. I can also hear where probably some things you probably would have liked to have done differently, but these are good. Douglas Miles Clark. Thanks, thanks very much, Doug. Um, MIA in the background. Since today, today is the day of the release in America, I will go ahead and show it again that I do have the new Stephen Wilson, The Raven That Refused to Sing. I have gone ahead and fallen into this like a new record. Um, I've played it a lot. This is fantastic. And there is a message here, you know. A lot of times, like I keep saying over and over again, a lot of times I don't care about the message. I do actually, but it's just it's like it's the last thing. like. For, for many people, a song is because the words are so cool. And that just won't do it for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can say cool stuff all day. I mean, I can, you know? So the fact that somebody else can do it, it's not... It's cool, but it's like, you know, it's your music that really gets to me. So what I'm saying is that what Steven is saying here is, is important. But musically, this is killer. And the video for the, the title song, The Raven That Refused to Sing, to me, the message is obvious, and yet it seems to be something that mankind will struggle with until the planet goes cold. <clears throat> it seems like it's such an obvious thing to learn that we just don't want to learn. I won't say it. To me, the video touchingly shows the dilemma of mankind, and we just keep doing it over and over again. I think Stephen Wilson is a badass mother. And this new album is fantastic. Fantastic. The only other things I have to show that are still sitting out is last night I got in the mood. No, I didn't get in the mood. I just uh, decided to pull it and play it, and it sounded great. Prince and the Revolution Parade. Consequently, what it what it um, spurred me to do was to look at some video because I was talking to L. Jeff Kukowski thinking I might have Under the Cherry Moon, the video. I haven't found it yet. I still think I do. But I have these uh, Prince video comps that I made. Um, stuff that I've gotten off of television and stuff like Oprah Winfrey, the Today Show, VH1 Honors and stuff. 
uh, Prince is, is one of my favorite um, uh, all around musician entertainers. He's badass. He's got a lot of style and he's got. Uh, he's amazing to watch and he's just mesmerizing. A hell of a musician, too. Just, you know, an icon. So I really got into some Prince last night. Love Prince. And, uh, Oh, I want to shout out to Mibertube, Mark. Mark, I love your latest video, the 51 minute one. I've watched most of it. Mark, I love your freshness, your attitude, and your frankness. And I, 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 I encourage it, you know. Even if I'm, I, I don't know that I, you know, it doesn't matter if I have anything to do with it. It's, you have a hell of a collection. Indeed, you don't show run of the mill stuff. Fan, fan, your collection is amazing. But I really enjoyed how you just, you know, just said how you feel, you know. And I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck, you know. And I think that's healthy, you know what I'm saying, you know. Even if even if I caused some of it, you know what I'm saying? Because I think I may have, you know, because of my attitude, you know. But be yourself and speak your peace, people, you know. Um, as I say, I'm just one person. And just because I you know, do get snobby sometimes, I'll, you know, you can call it that, that don't mean nothing, it's just who I am, you know, show your records, you know, be yourselves, you know, enjoy the VC, the VC. it belongs to everyone. Um, regarding Sana Spears 2, um, I, I do have another week to wait, I was hoping, you know, I mean, I'm just, I can't, you know, really, I'm so, I'm so anticipating and I'll tell you what, Anthony, if you watch this, I will send you a copy of Son of Spheres 2 because it's the best thing I've ever done. And I don't sing on it, but it's like, it's just perfect to me the way it's working out with my artist residence is that I'm recognizing what my real strength is and what it is I really do that's unique, which is these soundscapes. I can make music like anyone else. I can write songs and make songs. But what I'm doing with these soundscapes... Um, is my strength and it is a unique voice um i'm this this new album son of spirits 2 is the best thing i've ever done i can't wait for it to get here and um some of you may not agree but you know speaking from the person who made the stuff who made the music it's the best thing i've ever done and it's inspired me i'm working on i've got I've got stuff towards another release, you know, um, I'm working harder on it. Right now I'm trying to refocus on um, getting some work done with for Fire Bentano. I've been working on that stuff the last couple of days. And um, it's hard. There's no way of knowing how a collaboration will go. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. This one's hard right now. Um, ideas, I'm trying things, but I haven't found my voice in this in these tracks yet, so working on that. I'm also just to let you know, I'm also doing a a lot of phone calling and emailing right now, working on my um, my roster. Uh, like I said, my artist residency. I know that my artist residency is, residency is for me to be an artist and do my thing, but I also fully recognize that the other part of this opportunity is. I'll say it publicly. These people see what I could possibly do, which is to try and bring something to this part of the, of our community that's been lacking, you know. Um, to try and bring shows and events down to the, the black community and to not just have them happen in the black community, but to have it be a part of it and have the black community participating as well as all these crazy um, other people that I work with, you know, white, Asian, Mexican, Indian, so I'm working with all kinds of people, but um, it's all so separate from the black community, and there's a lot of heart and soul of what makes Omaha unique that came from and continues to come from North Omaha, which is the ghetto, and we need to honor the ghetto, and we need to get people to... Um, get over these old racist um, attitudes that are unspoken 
but are lived by. People just don't come down to the north north side, you know, except certain people. And I'm, I'm, people at Bemis think I can help change it, and I do. T I do too. I do. I think I can help change. I'm going to try. Maybe I can't, but I'm going to try. So that's part of what I'm doing. Is you know, besides the uh, gallery being a place to um, really. Flo flo you know, open up as an artist um, to be, um, I, I don't know what the word is I'm searching for, a go-between, but someone who can help can help organize um, activities and events. Yeah, that's that's another thing that, you know, that I see myself bringing to this. So, yeah. VC forever, I gotta go. I'll see you soon.